Hi, I'm Jason and this is Chris from AC Delco. Today we're going to be working on a vehicle with an AC performance concern. We discussed the service history of this vehicle with the customer who advised us that there was a recent repair for a whistling noise coming from the dash. The customer stated that a blend door was replaced to correct the concern. This particular vehicle has a dual zone AC system which allows the driver and the passenger to select different temperatures. I scanned the system for codes and there's no DTC stored so I ran the OE performance test and the AC system was working within specifications. I did notice on the outlet temperatures that the left center air duct was warmer than the right center air duct by more than 10 degrees. Based on the performance test results and the previous repair, I think we should focus on the blend door. What do you think? I agree. We could have a mispositioned door or a recalibration issue. It's possible they didn't recalibrate the actuator after they replaced the blend door. Well, I think we should recalibrate the actuators before we go into the dash. I'll refer to surfaces information for that procedure. By recalibrating the actuators, we're going to force the diagnostics to run for the DTCs, and it may correct our concern. Service information states that we need a scan tool for this procedure. That's good to know. Some vehicles may require different methods for recalibrating the actuators. Could be pulling a fuse, disconnecting the battery, or even utilizing the HVAC control head. Always refer to the service information for the vehicle you're working on. To calibrate the actuators on this particular vehicle, we need to communicate with the HVAC control module. Select body from the diagnostics list and press enter. While waiting for the scan tool to communicate with the body module, it's important to note that this vehicle could be equipped with a dual zone or single zone HVAC system. Dual zone CJ3 is an RPO code, regular production option, indicating what option the car is equipped with. The RPO code label can usually be found on a GM vehicle in the glove box, center console, or in the trunk. Select dual zone. On this screen, we refer to the RPO label to see if this vehicle was equipped with an RPO code UH8, which is an instrument cluster option. It is not. Select no. Choose HVAC control module from the list of body modules. In the HVAC control module, we're going to highlight special functions on the HVAC control module list. Entering special functions, we're going to scroll down the special functions list and highlight the recalibrate all actuators function. The command state will be none. We're going to select on. This function will take approximately 60 seconds. The screen will not change. One thing of caution, do not interrupt the self-calibration process by commanding any controls on the control module or remove power from the control module. Performance issues will occur. After waiting 60 seconds, exit the recalibrate actuators function and check for current DTCs. The results should be zero DTCs. Recalibration of the actuators was successful. After recalibrating the actuators, our center duct outlet temperatures are now within two degrees of each other. Looks like we nailed it. I'm Jason, thanks for watching. And I'm Chris, thanks for choosing AC Delco.